Greetings, my name is Natasha White and I am the Virginia Director of Community Engagement at Interfaith Action for Human Rights. IAHR and the Virginia Coalition on Solitary Confinement are committed to ending the torture of incarcerated individuals. So many studies have shown the damage that it causes an individual mentally. Self-mutilation and ultimately suicide is the only way out for some, not including the multitude of mysterious deaths that may be the fate of others like Anwar Phillips. What happened to Anwar Phillips? His death was reported a suicide in January of 2022 at Red Onion Prison, but the death certificate state neck compression by ligature equaling homicide. His mother deserves answers. How about the suicide of Shannon Jennings? Shannon asked to be put in protective custody and after only a single day there committed suicide. Why was no one checking on Shannon? But he is not the only one to commit suicide in solitary. Sean Pulley committed suicide in 2018. He had a history of struggling with mental health. Research has shown that the adverse effects of solitary confinement are especially significant for persons with serious mental illness. The stress, lack of meaningful social contact, and unstructured days can exacerbate symptoms of illness and provoke reoccurrence. And then there is Jordan Charity. In 2018, Jordan committed suicide at Red Onion Prison at the age of 20. There have been so many lives lost, so many families and mothers' hearts breaking. Across the country, since the pandemic began, there has been 500% increase in the use of solitary confinement, with more than 300,000 people being held in these cruel and inhumane conditions since June 2020 in the federal and state systems. Those in isolation are at a higher risk of death due to mysterious circumstances. These individuals are left alone with no third party to check on their safety and well-being. They are human beings who have rights and should not be subjected to this dangerous, torturous practice. On behalf of IAHR, I want to extend our prayers for strength and healing to those who lost their loved ones in solitary confinement and those who will lose their loved ones to this torturous punishment in the future if it is not stopped. A new Senate bill will come again in the next legislative session. Help us stop this horrific torture. The change starts here. Vote yes to saving lives. Solitary No More VA.